Okay, in this video we're going to look at addition where we need to carry and um, I'm just going to start out with having you kind of write these things in expanded form down here because um, well well let's just do it the way you've probably seen before where you, you, you've got 38 plus 7 so you're going to line up the units these are units you see and these are tens right so you add the units 7 and 5 Please uh, do not use a cal ever use a calculator for this. It's really important that you you uh, develop good mental arithmetic if you want to um, get through uh, a few math classes, um, not just this one. So seven eight plus seven is fifteen. So put the five down, and you carry the one right. Some people put it here. You could, I mean, I'm just going to put it up here so it's obvious that it's in the tens because uh, 8 and 7 is 15 and, and 15 is made up of 5 units and a 10 so you put that there and then you go 1 and uh, 3 is 4 but I, I know this is kind of boring but if we write this out um, you know 38 is okay 30 plus 8 and then we have 7 okay now when we add the 7 and 8 we get 15 okay so it's 30 plus 15 which is 45 right or you could say uh, it is you know 30 and then you've got a 10 that you're adding on because the 15 is you know uh, 10 and 5 so if you split the 15 into 10 and 5 so you've got 5 units here and then the um, 10 goes over here and adds to make 40 and you have 40 and 5 or 45 right that but uh, just so you can see what's happening uh, anyway so if we're adding 59 plus 84 what's 9 and 4 so you add the units first and 9 and 4 makes um, 13 so you put a 3 thir 3 down and carry the 1 it carry the 10 so I mean 9 and 4 is 13 but of course the number 13 is 3 units and 1 10 so this is uh, three units and one ten and that one ten goes over to the tens place and adds to these tens here so I hope you can see exactly what's happening that you did get 13 but the three units went here and the one ten goes over here and then these guys add together right so one and five is six and six and eight is fourteen okay and you write that down and now you actually have a, a digit in the hundreds spot so we have units, tens, hundreds, okay? So I guess our little chart might help us out uh, so we can think about what's happening as we're doing this, okay? So if we have 578 plus 898, uh, 573 plus 898, sorry, uh, three and eight makes what? Eleven, right? So it's 11, but, um, we know you see 11 has one unit and one ten so that's why you carry the because 11 is made up of a unit and a ten so that's why you carry this one over here that's a ten right then add these guys together what do you get one and nine is ten ten and seven is seventeen right so but you actually, okay, you think you have 17. You actually, at this point, of course, you actually have 170 because you've got seven tens, seven tens, and 100. And that one goes over to the hundreds now. See that? And now you've got to go 500s and 800s with another 100 makes what? Six and eight. 14 hundreds now 1400 is the same thing as 400s and 1000 so put the uh, comma in it's 1471 is the answer right so just think about while you're doing this I'd like you to think about what all these digits represent like we have units tens hundreds thousands ten thousands okay so think about what they all represent so when I'm going 3 and 7 3 plus 7 gives 10 I put the 0 down I carry the 1 now I just want you to think about this one here is a 10 so this is so I've got 0 units and 110 and that goes to the tens 
uh, spot and then add these guys together what do we get 12 so we have but and in fact it's actually in fact it's 120 if you think about it. it's not just 12 because you, you have two tens you see two tens and 100 you see so you know 12 put down the two carry the one then what do we have seventeen put down the seven carry the one but that is seven you see we've got seven hundreds seventeen hundred which is seven hundreds and one thousand does that make sense so we we actually it's okay with seventeen hundreds I mean that would have looked like this seventeen hundred you see so we've got seven hundreds and one thousand that's where the one over here is a thousand and then add this together and we get eleven that's eleven thousands eleven thousands is one thousand and a, and a ten thousand so we put the carry the one ten thousand over here okay and then seven so just for your uh, just to get your brain uh, on the right track just like while you're doing this think about what all of the digits are you know anyway so I'll just do um, this see if you can do this one then press pause and do these two if you like so this is the time we've got three numbers so we can just add them all together that's five and seven is twelve but down the two carry the one so it's two units and a ten left over right so how many tens have you got now twenty three tens down to three carry the two twenty three tens does in fact mean two hundred and thirty so it's three tens and two hundreds right add these guys up five and six is eleven and two is thirteen thirteen hundreds or three hundreds and one thousand right so press pause and do this whole thing yourself and then I'll do it quickly press pause and do all of this okay I'll do it now so when we're adding we've got to line up like digits with like digits so the units have to be underneath each other the tens have to be underneath each other so that the hundreds have to be underneath each other and the thousands have to be underneath each other so we get 12 units spin down to carry the one so we've got a 10 here that'll be 16 18 I hope you press pause and tried it by the way and carry the one four seven 15 carry the 1 6 uh, 7 and 14 right so we get 14,582 right